Let's see who's coming towards you. This is pile one, Ace of Voices, pile two, the Priestess, and pile three, the Emperor. Again, pile one, pile two, pile three. You can pause the video here to read them straight across or read them straight across in the community tab, okay? Start with pile one. This could be literally anybody. I was gonna do like who's coming towards you in love, but this could be love, this could be career, this could be friends, this could be enemies, this could be whatever comes out, okay? So pile, pile one, who's coming to pile one? I'm hearing matrimony. This is a commitment coming towards you. For some, I'm hearing wants to offer you something, wants to offer a proposal or a commitment to, okay? Mm. For pile one, someone could see that you were victimized by someone. I don't know, I'm getting like mind control. You look at this card, mind control, mind manipulation. You could have either freed yourself from this person and now you're getting into matrimony. Someone had like, you all in your head or someone's someone's trying to tie you down I don't like this energy someone tied you down someone could have literally wanted to victimize you like a physically abuse you had you locked up caves traps someone could have been Trying to control your your entire life is what I'm getting. I got that in another reading I did for TikTok. Someone was trying to control and manipulate your life. And I feel like, why is this here? You found your way out of it. You had to go within to get away from this person. You had to follow your heart and your gut. See? To get away from this person person why is this here someone could have also sent you a message or someone wants to send you a message that will allow you to not feel trapped by this person this is weird energy Yeah, someone's coming quickly to like sweep you, swoop you. I heard swoop you from heaven. Like a guardian, like to rescue you from trauma and turmoil. And for others of you, you did it yourself. For others of you, you wised up about a situation with this owl here. You did it yourself. You committed to yourself. You started, like I said, you went within. Some of you could have been focusing. Some of you got... um rid of i heard chokeholds i know the bible says strongholds you got rid of like chokeholds you got rid of being blinded i heard blind bartimaeus you were blinded to someone's manipulative tactics you also felt trapped you could have felt trapped by substances even some of you still could be some of you could have felt trapped by a person place or thing but you got, you freed yourself from addiction, from loneliness, from everything that was just causing you to be stuck. You balanced yourself out. You were able to see how she's wearing black on this card and every other card. She's wearing colors and white and stuff. You made it because you took that um, aggression, that turmoil, those revelations you had from your subconscious and you made them a part of you. You balanced yourself out. Who's coming towards them? Justice. So for this, I mean, it could be a person, but I'm also, th this could be you going to like, having like a, I heard a small engagement or a small wedding or something for some of you. That's for some of you. Yep, you took yourself from this ten of voices to the chariot. And for others of you, there's a female who's going to be upset about it for some of you. But for others of you, you went from this ten of voices to the chariot. You found your self-love. So what's who's coming towards you is you. 
I just got that scene from um, Boy Meets World where they had basically doppelgangers in a parallel universe. You, you bound, look it. And as I said, I didn't even see that look. All yourselves are coming into union with each other. It was, um, Corey was Rory and Corey. A lot, if you watch those shows, there's a lot of episodes where him and Sean, like, have two, have like twins of themselves. Some of you could be getting engaged as well. But yeah, they have dual sides. It's Boy Meets World if you're wondering what I'm talking about. Four of Emotions. Why is this here? Yeah, you're taking risks. You're not letting anything hold you back. As I said, the lovers. Gemini Energy. You're coming into union with yourself. You're balancing out yourself. See, someone was trying to manipulate you and pull strings. But I feel like strings are being pulled for your good because the devil is in the reverse. Eight of materials. What else? You do not care. You do not care. You have stepped, I heard, to your golden hour. As I said that, there's a lot of gold on this card. You stepped into your, I heard mighty, I also heard mighty divorce. Yeah, you divorced yourself from these evil entities. If you are a male, I'm hearing specifically, you could have gotten a divorce and you're happy about it. That's for some of you. Yeah, you stepped into alignment, power, your divine power. I heard divine network. So people are going, you're going to have your people come towards you. Anything else? Okay, I'm going to move on. Oh, yeah, as I said, you guys could be meeting people at, you know, yoga classes or health retreats or some of you need to do a health retreat or you're just eating healthy, okay? All right, pile number two. Who is coming to pile number two? To book a reading, click the link in the description box below. Pile number two. 755. Creator, spirit, and angel. So 35 and 755. <laughs> Where's my... I want to write it down. Such a Virgo rising. I have Libra placements too. The moon's in Libra. The priestess. Who is coming? I'm here and get out of my way. You... I heard if anything is not for my highest good, I do not want it. You know yourself. You just want peace. As I said, Libra. You could have Libra placements. You could be a Cancer. Cancer cusp. Leo moon. Aries rising. Leo rising. Leo cusp. Take what resonates. You have a Aquarius Libra gem. Mm, why is this here? I heard you are God and the devil. And that just means, for those of you who read the Bible extremely wrong, or whatever biblical text or religious text, extremely freaking wrong. Because I have non-subscribers. My subscribers know this, but people watch me. So here you freaking go, okay? You are, like I said, there's that balance again, lower and higher self. Okay, you transmute your light into darkness. You are in, you are fully aware of yourself. So can't nobody watch you and use you against you. Now people say people can use things against you. I heard in the court of law. So for this pile, people could be trying to build a case towards you of about you or something like that. Again, watch pile one. I'm getting that. Shang Topanga from Shangri-La, you are upsetting 
the balance. People are imbalanced. They think you're upsetting their balance. Their balance is imbalance. They're insecure and you're, you're upsetting people. So they're trying to build a case against you. But I heard no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And as a matter of fact, everything they're doing with this sun in the back, look at her hand. Oof, oof, you're tied to the universe is gonna boomerang and back. It's going to back, what is backfire on them? Look at her hands, it looks like the sun. And it's gonna expose their, their demons. Look at, they're running, this person's like running away. I'm hearing a horse say, Roo! It's gonna shake things up. It's gonna shake their foundation if they do that. I heard, so they better quit. Because you got a lot of people, wolves in sheep's, sheep's clothing, clothing, but they're not even wolves. They're measly, they're foxes. I heard they're watching you for an opportunity because they're opportunistic. But I heard touch not mine anointed do my prophets no harm. You're very protected and very ancient. And that's why people don't like you. People don't, again, people don't think you're the son of God. Because the son of God is a masculine, not a female. S-U-N, mother effers. Okay? S-U-N. Metaphysics. Stop reading shit wrong. Okay? And you challenge the patriarchy. <laughs> mother and son so you make men mad in this pile but you make women mad too you make females who are not in tune with themselves upset you make dependent women who depend on men upset you don't mind men investing in you you don't mind it but you offend men because you challenge them and people don't like to be challenged because it exposes their insecurities I heard, let the church say amen. <laughs> if I had a bell, I would clink it right now. Because that's what the real issue is. Mm -hmm. Spirit said, don't look at it in the carnal. Look at it as a spiritual thing. I heard when the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. These people could be trying to drain you because see, she's not drinking water. They're trying to drain you of your vital nutrients, your vital source. But you are connected to source, but you got to see your power. And I feel like you are. And I heard I render you powerless. You need to say that. Say, I render you powerless. These people forget that they're beggarly elements. You could be here today and going tomorrow. And some people will. See, you went through an awakening. That's why you were feeling like that. Some of you are feeling like that right now. You're going through an awakening so you could be the star. So you could shine. Because some of you don't want to shine because you just don't want to offend people people just go mean you know who gives a fuck if they're mean they don't like themselves please fuck that fuck them they don't like themselves and i just heard that someone's gonna screenshot this video see i told you people are adult children who were never reprimanded for their bad behavior some of them so everything you do, they try to demonize you, but you're not the demon. They are. Because God wouldn't try to weaponize God, but see, they don't think you are God. They don't think you are related to God. They don't think you're spiritual at all. But why would God do people dirty? God wouldn't have to spy on another person and do them dirty. I heard clout chasing. So that could be what some people think. But why would you have to chase clout when you're connected to God? Make it make fucking sense. Some of you, with this hand, you turned a lot of people away that had clout. So what the fuck? You, you're the one with the clout. What do they mean? These people are so stuck in a damn monopoly. I heard if you're lukewarm, I'll spew you out. Spirit said if people keep messing with you, they're going to get spewed the fuck out.
Just like that episode on Twilight Zone when they had the cylinder and those Pete, those toys thought they were bad shit. You guys have no problem using your throat chakra. You're like, I don't give a fuck. Cause I feel like people try to shut you up for throwing you, I don't give a fuck. They were in the cylinder on Twilight Zone, right? And they thought they were hot shit and the girl came and just threw them away. And that's what's gonna start happening to people, look it. Look it, I said Monopoly, she's running away. Spirit's gonna move you out of the way and they're gonna all fall down like these dominoes. Look, Spirit said move out of the way. Spirit said move out of the way of my work. Spirit said move out of the way of my work. I heard the gates of hell are opening. See, you were trying to help people. Spirit said, not my will, but thine will be done. Let spirit do it. So now the hell mouth is opening because they opened a portal that they weren't supposed to open when they came for you. Mm -hmm. These people are going to be dropping like flies. Some of them will lose their community. Some people will lose their finances. Some people will lose their place of living, their form of living. Mm-hmm. Because they keep, they don't know how to help. Some people don't know how to shut up. Some people just constantly, you're just, they're, they're, they're pissed off at you, but can't stop fucking watching you. Make it make fucking sense. Make it make sense. I told you, five of inspiration, five of, oh, mirror, mirror on the wall, constantly comparing themselves to you. Competition, but I, I'm seeing you're in a competition with yourself. You loved your, you loved yourself. Anything else for this pile? What else do they need to know? This is why they're mad. Cause you're focusing on your finances. You could be abundant. You just threaten people. You're just a threat. You're pr protect yourself. Shield yourself. Okay, all right. I'm hearing that song by Audrey Asad, Vagabond, The House You're Building Within. I heard shitting on a hater, shitting on a hater. Okay, pile three, 1736. 1736, pile three. The Emperor, who's coming to pile three. So pile two, people are trying to come for you, but God is coming to your rescue. You don't want that. Okay. Ooh, the chariot. So there's a match here. Their love is coming towards you. Being inspired by a creative endeavor too. Look at the black, oh, a cute black cat. Oh my God, Mwah. Oh my God, some of you are just enamored. With your creativity, especially in, in Pisces season. Seven of inspiration. You're blocking out any forces that will compete with this, this energy. So you can focus on your creativity. Nine of materials. Yep. Abundant. The spirit is, spirit is blessing you. You're getting whatever you want. I heard you could have whatever you like. What else do they need to know? Someone could be wanting to spoil you. I heard you're the apple of their eye. I also heard you're the apple of demons. People just want to eat you alive. Ace of cups, ace of emotions, which is ace of cups. Yep, you have an Aries here. What else do they need to know? Muse of emotions or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. with Aries placements, or they could be in the, this always represents like, I'm hearing 
Coldplay, Viva La Vida. I'm hearing I used to rule the world. This could have been someone who was very powerful in a past life. They're, they're, this person could have ancient knowledge, ancient ancestry as well. Eight of emotions. There's no competition. There's peace in this pile. It's a lot of peace. I heard in recognition. So recognition could be coming towards you. Muse of King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So again, this is someone who embodies. They're in touch with their emotions and they're in touch with their speech. Speaker. This person could be an entertainer or a speaker. I heard a cusper. This person could cause to have a potty mouth. Yeah, as I said, this person could be a speaker. They could be coming towards you quickly to speak to you. Awakening. Again, this is like heavy throat chakra. Some of you could have had a throat chakra block. Because there's a lot of blue in these cards. Although there's different colors, but there's a lot of blue in this pile. Take these? No. Spirit said don't take those. What else? I heard deities. Who's coming towards pile three? Yeah, Spirit said don't argue with mediocre people. Because these people think they're the shit, but they're actually mediocre, so... Our rep four of wands, ten of it. Yeah, you have a solid, stable commitments foundation coming towards you. I heard witches. So both of you could, both of you could be popular on stage, and you also know how to manipulate energy. I heard conjure, but not in not in that way that you're thinking, Moldavite. Yeah, you know how to change people's perspectives, change people's lives. Very supernatural. Hang muse. Why is this here? Yeah, right now you could be in a holding phase. Some of you need to take action, though. Some of you are procrastinating. Also, are elliptical. You need to go to the gym. For some of you, you could be small or whatever, but you also need to... um. And everybody needs to go to the gym. Yeah, the hermit. You're taking time out. The spirit said you need to get a move on. Get out of that. The sun. Yeah, get out of that. Shine. It's time for you to do a career. Take a career path that you'll be successful in. As I said that, the fool. Take a risk now. Okay? All right. So to book a reading, click the link in the description box below. And I will see you in the next video.